Why, hello there. This is my 80th video today. I just want to give you a story of the day of my fucking life. Except there's a sweet sunset over there, kind of. <laughs> so I wake up sad. There's something wrong with this hat. <laughs> I got it at Tamu, by the way, for like 99 cents before I left. I woke up really sad about my son. Decided I was going to get it together. Take out the solar panels. Took out the solar panels. And there was the mouse. <clears throat> yeah, so I got through that. Um, I've been asked questions of what did I do with the mouse? Did I bury it? Did I do... What did I do? And I put it in the garbage. Because my plan, hopefully, is to go tomorrow. But now, probably not. <clears throat> After that, I did the video of us exploring... And there's no way I can take those spots because I can't take this spot on the end and then that other spot to get him to run. I would have to walk through people's campsites and oh yeah, he can be pretty scary. <clears throat> Came back, um, washed my hair. Look at how clean I am. Washed my body. Yes, I am clean. Look, I even put on earrings. I put on a special necklace with St. Jude. I don't know why I haven't been wearing it all this time. I cleaned it with toothpaste. So just so you know, you can clean it with toothpaste and an old toothbrush if you'd like. That's why it's shiny. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I get a text message. And, uh, oh, I, I'm cleaning up and stuff. And then I realize, oh, fuck. It's 1.30. I have a doctor's appointment. So I go to my phone and I press some button or something and the whole screen blows up. And there's no way to take it down. You go like this, you go like this. You can't even shut the fucking phone off. Because if you try to shut the phone off, you can't do the slide to turn it off. So yeah, that was pretty sucky. I did um, speak with my um, doctor. Thank God, because I don't even think she takes my insurance. I just told them... You know, like, I don't have a case manager out here. I don't have all that stuff out here. I got to start all from scratch. So they got me in, thank God, because I don't even have a case manager there. So maybe they didn't drop me. Maybe it's because I took that appointment today of what happens next. So I get a text message from Walmart that says, your prescriptions are ready and it's $10,565 or some crap. So I call my new insurance. And they say, no, you've been terminated. I said, what? Why have I been terminated? And they told me, well, we never really see this. But when we do see this, it's because somebody's been incarcerated. They are incarcerated right now. When have I been incarcerated? You know, what the fuck? You have to call access. So what do I do? I call access. Three hour wait three fucking hour wait it got after five it got 5 14 i just got off the phone with them a little while ago they said well it shows that you're um you've got insurance everything's fine we don't understand and i'm like oh my god so then they told me i have to call back in the morning probably wait three hours again and i'm supposed to go to town and talk to their their specialist or whatever. I wrote it down. Some specialist that goes through everything to see what's wrong. I said, can't you just call the pharmacy? Can't you just call my insurance, you know, and say I'm cool? Nope, we can't call anybody, you know, with under your behalf. I saw. <laughs> and I said, well, let's just call three. And they're like, no, we can't do that either. Yeah, so there was more that happened today. I'm not really quite sure. <clears throat> I haven't checked my email in a couple of hours, and I don't think I'm going to, only because today's been really hard to keep together, you know? Um, if you do follow my, um, my channel and, um, you know, like when you scroll through, um, I did even put a poll today of, like, I'm going to die, well, like, do I, like, hold it in? Do I cry? And so many times I've been so close to that crying, you know? But please, Asa, please, please. He knows I have carrots in my pocket. I should have just gave 
them all to him. Maybe I'll just give one to him to keep him quiet for a couple more moments. Did you want a carrot? Is it a carrot that you would like? Here, I'll show you. Is it a carrot? Isa, down, down. Isa, down. Is that it? Oh, he already knows in advance. Ready? One, two, three. Yes. All gone. All gone. He knows I'm lying. He can smell it. <sighs> Anyways, I made it through the day. I'm probably not even going to go to town tomorrow because I got to take care of all this stuff. And like I said, like I t tell you guys all the time, sometimes it's just so overwhelming. You know, it's so overwhelming. And then like I get real sad and I get real anxious and that stops everything. So it gets to a point where I'm not, you know how I am when I go to town. I'm not going to fucking call these people, go to town, go back. You know, I'm just going to somehow have to make it another day before I go to town. And, um, yeah, I'm out of my medication. But, um, I don't even think I'm going to be all right. I forgot it before, and I was kind of like, mm -mm. I felt weird. So, this is all going to be straightened out tomorrow. Just got to trust God. And, uh, yeah. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is the fucking system. Imagine if I didn't. I couldn't talk and stick up for myself and stuff. I'd be so fucked. I already am fucked. What the fuck? So that's why you see people that are homeless, like, sitting there on the streets and shit. You know, because this is what you got to do. You know, this is what you got to do. So why do my eyes look blue? <clears throat> this is what you got to do. Why the fuck are my eyes blue? Oh, here's the sunset for you guys, kind of. You can see it at the top of the trees. My camera sucks so freaking bad. But yeah, thanks for listening to me. Tomorrow's another day. Hopefully I wake up strong. And if I don't, the first thing I'm going to do is pray. I mean, like, I got to, no matter what. I got to start getting into it. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye.